Dr. Mike Crywe. I'm a shoulder elbow sports medicine specialist at Commonwealth Orthopedic Centers, and today I was going to talk to you about clavicle fractures. Clavicle fractures can be extremely dif difficult injuries to have. Um, many young patients get clavicle fractures from uh, whether it's a football injury to a uh, bike riding incident, uh, skiing injury, um, any type of major trauma can sometimes cause clavicle fractures. <clears throat> it typically happens from a blow to the outside part of the shoulder and the clavicle fails underneath that mechanism and we'll typically be able to pick that up using x-rays. Uh, many people will have a little bump on the clavicle and recently, uh, the last 10 or 15 years, we've noted significant improvement with patients when we um, perform surgery on clavicle fractures. So you may see an increasing trend, some of your friends uh, and relatives having uh, clavicle fracture surgery. Many years ago, we really didn't treat clavicle fractures, but recent studies have shown that surgery for clavicle fractures really improves outcomes, improves strength, and improves mobility in the shoulder, and uh, can help, uh, especially in displaced fractures. <clears throat> it also decreases the chance that the bone won't heal. Uh, so at times, it is right to treat these clavicle fractures non-surgically with a sling and physical therapy, but occasionally surgery is needed, and if that's the case, uh, we typically fix that with a plate and screws. Uh, when you look forward to uh, how to treat this injury, um, we typically, if you're going to treat it non-surgically, we'll stay in a sling for two to three weeks, and then we'll start some physical therapy, and as the bone in the clavicle starts to heal, we get a little bit more aggressive. With surgery, it's a different thing. We actually will start therapy right away, and we want to strengthen the shoulder, and we want to improve the mobility from uh, day one. So uh, we'll actually get people into physical therapy within the first week following the, uh, the injury. Um, Hopefully that's given you a little bit of insight into clavicle fractures. I'm Dr. Mike Grywe, shoulder, elbow, and sports medicine specialist at Commonwealth Orthopedic Centers.